So I will now do a recap of my CO2 laser I built. It's so good as finished. The only thing I need now is my water chiller. For the moment I use a bucket for the fish pump for cooling for the moment till my chiller arrives. We have the air ventilator. It's a Pro Max fan and has 630 liters per second exhaust. So it's very good and very quiet. I will turn it on and it will hear it. So there's not a lot of noise. If I stand here, we have the intakes of the air on three places and it's very good. Oh, I will shut it down. At the back, you see here my exhaust I make I also put my air connection with a compressor here I can do the pressure more or less I have a solenoid built for air assist if I don't use air assist with the solenoid the air is continue here with a little valve so I have always air streaming through the nozzle it's not much just a little bit so that the smoke is not entering to the mirror it's almost nothing and if you use air assist then you can do another pressure how many PCI you want my compressor is a silent compressor here later on I will install it in my other room and also I have mounted my camera I have made my box myself and it's an 8 millipixel 170 degree angle fish eye camera. So we will now install the camera and calibrate the camera. I have also put my lights, LED lights, as you see here, I have a button, so that's my LED lights, so we have here the button. We are now connected to Lightburn and we're gonna activate the camera. You go to Window, Camera, and then on the right side you choose Camera, the USB device, and it will pop up in the little window. If I put my hand, you will see it move, so my camera is active. The second part is now to calibrate the camera. So we go in the window to tools and there we look for camera calibration. You choose USB camera and it's in fish eye. Okay, we take next. So I have already copied 
my pattern you can download it here print it out and then put it in the center of your of your laser machine so if you have less than one then your camera is good so we're gonna now take a picture you see it's 0 0.12 or something then we do the next so at the front so we put the paper at the front of your workspace again we're gonna take a recording so it's good the next one we put it on the left side in the middle your pattern should every time be in the same direction you started take a picture next one is the right side we put it now on the right side that's okay take the picture it's okay then we go to the next one at the top we have to do that for every corner of your work space so it's okay also if you record the image it's depending on good your camera is so a good camera will take no problems the same here right on the corner and so we go on for all the corners on the top now That's okay. And that should be the last one. done and now we should go to the next page we do the same we have now the pattern and sample image that we gonna laser you can use carton or uh, wood or something else I use the speed of 400 power 50% and I go to 150% image size you can use the button to see if everything is on your size and then we're gonna burn it So here you see everything is marked well. Okay. You see the image is appearing in the window. So then we go to the next. 
we have to calibrate now exactly these spots for the camera so we enlarge the image and then you follow the instructions here we have to be as accurate as possible so I double clicked on the center of number one you see the little red cross so if it not exactly then you redo it uh, next and then once it's okay you go to the second one here the same it's not okay so I try the second one okay and we go to the third one okay so you have to put it exactly in the center and then the last one number four that's okay and then we go to the next so we are ready so the camera is now exactly calibrated and we're gonna do a test by using my mouse to spot the number one so my laser will move exactly to that spot and to see if everything is working very fine I gonna make a pulse of every number to see if everything is working fine Like you see on the right side my laser is moving exactly to the spot I have make a pulse I go now to the second one and I will do that four times
I will also mark the center the same. I put it in the middle. So you see on the right side of the screen that my lens is moving to the center. Okay, I make my pulse. So as you see, all the pulses are exactly where they should be. You see number four, number one. You see the little dot in the center, at number three in the center, here in the middle, at number one and number two so now my camera is calibrated and i can use it 